got a cast aluminum plate from Precise Printer Parts for the Ender 3. It's a 235 by 235. It has an extra 15 millimeters, I think it was. So you can bolt your uh, clamp down your heater wires and whatnot. Strain relief. <clears throat> Um, they milled out a channel here for the, what's that thing called? Ah, the thermistor. So you could stick the thermistor in here, get closer to the actual build plate. And the main feature has these beautiful built-in little magnets. So your, your spring steel sheet just sticks right to it uh, feels pretty nice now let's get these lines but I can't feel them so that's fine it's really nice and thick was a bit expensive I paid a hundred and twenty four dollars and ninety cents. I believe I believe I spoke with Dan. It did take a week or two for them to send it out to me. Which I mean obviously a lot of work goes into this, so it is what it is. It takes a little bit. Um yeah, he's a nice guy. He, he was offering me a discount for the hassle and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think this thing will be great. Can't wait to get it put on one of my printers. So, DW Engineering, LLC. Let's see, part number of... N200 revision C. I think this should be really great. This should go a long way. I've been, <laughs> if you uh, if you have Ender 3, you know that the beds on them are garbage. They come, they're pre warped for you, they have dips and bows, and they are not very good this Ooh. now I already bought a bed from uh, what is it Gulf Gulf Coast Robotics which is, is a really nice bed I like it it was cheap it was like 40 bucks but it's only as thick as the original ender bed so I think it, it may warp someday if it hasn't already this I think this will last a long time and give the uh, flattest possible build service oh that's that thanks <laughs>